the way that the Flint Hills are currently managed, I guess, or a lot of tall grass prairie is annually burned and there's not a lot of refuge left for birds. So um, will understanding how the birds are selecting the habitat influence future management? So is it a good idea to vary the amount of time we burn or the fire return interval in different areas? Is that important for prairie chicken survival? And could it potentially influence their survival uh, in light of climate change predictions. So if it gets hotter in the southern Great Plains as predicted, uh, will there be refuge that can help these uh, birds survive by you know, not burning everything each year, by leaving some grass behind that might allow them to seek refuge from hot summer days. One thing that makes this study unique is the patch burden grazing and the structural mosaic that results from that. So we'll, we have an opportunity to look at how uh, management that is more similar to probably how historic prairies would have looked, how that's affecting greater prairie chicken survival. So that's one thing that our study has that's fairly unique uh, to the tall grass region and to greater prairie chicken ecology, or greater prairie chicken studies in general. The other novel uh, facet of our work is looking at how the temperature influences habitat selection, nest survival, and brood survival. So by putting, uh, by putting these thermal couples out, essentially thermometers out uh, where greater prairie chickens are using the landscape and pairing that with random areas where the prairie chickens have not been. Uh, after you accumulate uh, a large enough sample size, we'll be able to make distinctions in whether or not they're selecting a unique uh, suite of habitat characteristics based on the temperature um, within the environment. So we're also interested in investigating how uh, the temperate environment influences nest survival and brood survival. So if you have a nest that's in a recently burned patch or maybe one year post fire, um, is there greater survival of nests in those habitats or the resulting uh, vegetation structure from that management? And if so, you know, how can we manage grasslands better to improve survival, survival of nests and broods in the future? Well, right now during the month of April, we go out and sit uh, prior to sunset in a, in a small blind and watch a trap set that we usually set up the day before. And we might sit there three or four mornings uh, and watch on Lex, that's the communal display area of greater prairie chickens. Uh, we watch these birds and hope that they go into our traps. Uh, they're funnel traps with leads going out and the birds just walk into the leads that lead them to the funnel and then there's kind of a holding pin that they end up in and then we go out and uh, take a few measurements of the bird, uh, attach a leg band to it and attach a radio transmitter and then release it. And we do this for about four to five days on a lek before we move our traps and set up on a different lek. Uh, and we'll be doing that throughout the, the month of April primarily, trying to get as many birds with transmitters as possible. And then after April, we'll start doing relocations on these birds and tracking nest survival and the habitat use that I mentioned earlier.